So just like with my transitions, I can actually apply sort of miniature transitions, if you will, uh, to elements inside of my PowerPoint presentation. For example, this About Us page. Maybe I don't want it to immediately uh, show everything. Right now, if I run this, this uh, PowerPoint, you see it shows me everything. As soon as I go from Essential Norway to About Us, I see everything. Some people don't like this, and this is a you know trade-off. Some people do, some people don't. Now what I can do is I can highlight all of that text, and if I come over to now my animations section, this is where I can do the exact same thing as I did with transitions. I have all of these different options I can go through. Again, just like I told you kind of with my soapbox with transitions, don't go crazy with it you know that's honestly okay well that's not the greatest thing in the world try and keep these as subtle as possible so something like fade fades okay fade and appear my go-to's actually whenever I need to do this but you notice right now they're all appearing at the same time and right here you see I'm getting this like one 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 well maybe I don't want that maybe instead what I want to do is I want to turn this into uh, something where it starts instead of all at the same time with a click. Now, if I change that to on click, notice that all of a sudden it goes from one 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 to one two three four five six seven eight. I can even change this further. Maybe I want my train rides, say the Bergen uh, Bergen uh, Railway and the Flam Railway. Really, really, those guys. Maybe I want this guy right here, number four, instead of it to uh, be its own click, which it is right now, sorry, if I were to run this, it's one, two, three, four, five. Instead, I want it to appear with previous, and you notice the numbers change. Suddenly, it went from four to three. I'm gonna do the same thing with here. I'm gonna change it from on click to with previous, and now my train ride should be one, two, three. Now both my railways appear, and that's fine because I'm talking about train rides. I can talk about both of them at the same time, so I don't need to kind of click through both of them. I can just click once, and it'll apply that. As you can imagine, I can do the same with the Fjord Cruises uh, with previous to uh, those words. And those words, I can't pronounce that stuff. What are you kidding me? Come on. But now, one, two, three, four. So it allows me to kind of apply these transitions. Now, the one thing, say for example, you have completely ignored what I say and you're like, I wanna do the fly in one. Well, one of the things you might have noticed is I can make them go all the way from the bottom to the top or I can actually change that with my effect options, which allow me to specify from where. I'm gonna say from right. So they come in from the right. Now when I run it, they come in from the right. Now you're saying, well, hey, what happened to my animations? Well, one of the things that I can do is I can actually use the same effect option and instead I can go in and I can maybe change them again. So uh, go in and on click. Again, it's gonna take it from uh, the with previous and it'll allow me to change it as well. So now again, oh, we go from this left, we go from the left each time. So it just allows us to maybe add a little bit of a dynamic to something that is pretty static. But end result, again, soapbox, I know, try and keep them as simple as possible.